uh, very rightly my lord expressed the concern that somebody can be aggregator my lord if i want to donate 50 lakhs then uh, 50 crores then i'll have to find out 50 aggregators instead it is easy for me to go and pay cash 50 crores that this is my contribution why should i go to no no the, the party does not get money in white the party, party wants party wants capital party does not need money in white let us be very clear the government is insisting that every party this is not for, this is not a scheme only for elections it's correct. not a scheme only for elections correct Manu. it's for running the party ah. it's for running the party no i am not feeling shy of saying that Manu, because that's the part of the scheme it applies to everybody across the board across yes, the board my learned friend said ha huh, as if he, 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 uh, he trapped me into it. I am saying it consciously. My Lord, what happens is... Lord, I am an independent member of parliament. I don't know why you associate <laughs> me with the party. <laughs> yeah. Lord, let's my history not can't... Let's not go into it. Let's 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 not go into it. Let's victimize me. Don't victimize me by my history. <laughs> he is not entitled to get an electoral board under the scheme. He doesn't have 1% of national or the local <laughs> board. Well, let's not go into it. My personal uh, thing, I never, my Lord, intended. Uh, well, what, what happens is, let, let me clarify that position. This is not for election. When we talk of election, we think of general parliamentary election. When a political party is running, it contests parliamentary elections, it contests assembly elections, it contests uh, local authorities' elections, it has its own campaigns, it has its own rallies, it has its own uh, think tanks. Think tanks are also, my lord, every party has think tanks, their salaries, they need some kind of a, my lord, uh, building in every state. Lord, uh, so the idea was that instead of either shell company or uh, paying by cash, let, let the clean money come into the system and my lord, clean money has come into the system. Second, whether we like it or not, lord, industrial houses, commercial houses, corporations, Companies, they have you know, immensely uh, helped you know, in the development of the nation. And now, you know, as I have shown... That's what I just said, that you know, we don't... So everyone you know, does not sector. pay by kickbacks to, to you know, believe that they need electoral bonds to be used or any other factor to be used to influence the decision-making would be you know, shutting an eye on the reality. Without that also, you know, that can be done. And possibly, practically, despite my Lord, this white channel being available, both channels might be used by some companies which are my Lord, not kind of good companies. But good companies my Lord, do decide to donate based upon their experience, whether in this regime of the political government, my investment is safe or not, whether the country is going forward or going backward, whether I am... All right, Mr. Sarasra, we now understand... But, but, can we do this to sort of uh, to carry the dialogue further? Should we go straight to the scheme? Because we'd like to it's hear you on the scheme. Page 25. Let's have a look at the scheme. Page so that 25. Your argument on the scheme will be of value to us. This we have now seen that. Uh, because your, your lordships you've made your have, point, no doubt about it. Lord Kindly, your lordships have the challenge to a provision which gives away or does away with the cap. Lord, I have given my answer for your lordships to. I, I think I am clear. Yes, of course. But Lord, petitioners have confined their arguments essentially to companies. But this includes all. And my Lord, there are several donors from experience, my Lord, when I discuss, who donate on individual basis. My Lord, there are several conventional businesses like transport business, like uh, contractors business, where there are individuals who do the business. They, they don't form any kind of formal company or Hindu undivided family or a partnership form. Then third, eligibility for purchase and encashment of electoral bond. The bond under this scheme may be purchased by a person who is a citizen of India or incorporated or established in India. Lord, I am keeping Lord FCR apart separately. That's not something which is argued with your lordships have very consciously, my Lord, by judicial order detected. A person being an individual can buy bonds either singly or jointly with other individuals. Only the political parties registered under Section 29A of the Representation of People Act 
and secured not less than 1% of votes polled in the last general election to the House of People or Legislative Assembly, as the case may be, shall be eligible to receive the bond. The bond shall be encashed by an eligible political party only through a bank account with the authorized bank. There would be a designated account out of these 29 designated branches. Well, the objection was that why this 1% limit? And there is a simple reason. Earlier when exemption was given to political parties, there were some mushrooms, uh, mushrooming of political parties, fake parties, just to get exemption. Therefore, 1% presence would mean you are a serious political party and 1% is not something unrealistically high. And it can be even in parliamentary election or in any of the assembly elections. So just to my Lord, ensure that there are no fake parties which are created to get benefit of this. Then my Lord, four, applicability of know your customer known, knows. The extant instructions issued by Reserve Bank of India regarding know your customer norms of a bank's customer shall apply for buyers of the bonds. The authorized bank may call for any additional know your customer documents if it deems it is deemed necessary. Now, why this? Look, apart from the obvious reason that there cannot be any anonymous purchase. I cannot go and say that I will not give my name, but give me the electoral bond. I'll, uh, there, are, there is a list of my Lord, uh, KYC documents. I will have to give my Aadhaar number. I will have to give my PEN number. I will have to give my residential proof. I will have to give my passport number, if any, etc., etc. So that anyone cannot just walk in and purchase the bond. That is, my Lord, the object, my Lord. I'll, uh, my Lord, there is one more reason, my Lord. And, and your Lordship, my Lord, as the highest court must know about it, my Lord. Therefore, I'm saying, my Lord, uh, India is a signatory to one treaty, international treaty, my Lord. That is for eradication of uh, money laundering and drug money, under which there is a, my Lord, that's Vienna and Palermo, my Lord. That there are two conventions where there is one financial action task force. It's created under the edges of the United Nations. That task force has created my Lord, 40 conditions that every country who is a signatory will have to follow those conditions. Based upon every country's performance or compliance of those four, uh, 40 conditions, there is a peer review. Other five, uh, five persons from different countries would come and review our inform our, our system, whether we are following that or not, and would grade us. We can be in uh, white, uh, what, what do they call, white list, gray list, black list, which my Lord require, we, which uh, my Lord uh, decides whether in international market like World Bank, Asian Development Bank, India as a nation would get the financial assistance or not. If we are in the gray list, we will not. One of the major condition is that bring your clean money into the system and one of the, one of the uh, mode is to insist for KYC documents. Therefore, my Lord, uh, the neighboring country was in the gray list. It managed to come out of it. Otherwise, my Lord, it was going into the black list. And that also depends based upon the gradation. Gradation also decides our credit rating at the international stock market, the country's trading, uh, credit rating. Therefore, it's, it's very crucial to follow those 40 principles. Then denomination. The bonds shall be issued in the denomination of 1,000, 10,000, 1 lakh, 10 lakh, and uh, 1 crore. Well, this is for the purpose of administrative simplicity. And, and my Lord, as your Lordships, my Lord, uh, now my Lord, the scheme. See the definition, my Lord. In the, and, and my Lord, please, please read, my Lord, uh, as if it is for a bona fide reason and not to encourage or legitimize kickbacks. Please, please examine that. There may be 10% out of 100 where kickback is provided. Kickback can be the motive of the donor. Electoral bond means a bond issued in the nature of promissory note which shall be a bearer banking instrument and shall not carry the name of the buyer or payee. I have already explained why this is, why this 
confidentiality. So I will not read the second part, the second column is the object behind it. My object I have sufficiently Lord, uh, attempted to explain and therefore I will not repeat it. Please see, my Lord, authorized bank. My Lord, this is the entire policy produced, reproduced verbatim. I have not missed anything. So your Lordships can read either from the policy or from here, but here it would be more convenient because I have given my object of each That's clause. Right. But there is no, no part of the policy is missed, my Lord, in reproduction. Authorized bank means the State Bank of India authorized to issue and encash the bonds in the branches specified in annexure 1 to this notification. Lord, Lord, we had options Lord, of public sector banks and private banks. Obviously, we cannot choose private banks. In public sector banks, the largest bank with largest presence in the country is State Bank of India. Therefore, State Bank of India in some cases. But my Lord, the experience have suggested that in most cases, the vote, my Lord, whoever donates, donors, be it individual, con individual contractor, businessman, company, trust, HUF, etc. They donate which kind of a government they want. Maybe out of 110, maybe kickbacks. I'll, I'll address that kickback part also. So would that be valid if a company were to donate even 100% of its uh, revenue? Is that guided by altruistic motives? We, we might see. Everybody doesn't donate, you know, with as a kickback. Not so at all. Therefore, my lord, kindly, my lord, and do not so have this. companies. We also have companies. All companies cannot be tarred with the same brush in India. You have corporate sector which has contributed to the productive assets of the nation. So we're not, they, they have we're not at all saying that our corporate sector the is there for the nation. of the nation. Shouldn't make that assumption. Well, only, only a minute. Uh, Mr. Sibyl. <laughs> there was something personal. Not uh, uh, It was not a fun or humor. Uh, out of concern, I asked something. Which I will right now not share. Well, there, That's all right. Some, uh, we had some concerns. I said, Go to my chamber, that's all.